at last but not least, Pokemon Sapphire. I've been wanting to play this game for the longest time. I can finally do it. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Let me call it Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, at times cooperative workmates, and sometimes we band together and battle others like us. As part of closest, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many series surrounding Pokemon. To have a Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do, and you are? What's Brian? Oh, okay, your Brian is moving to my hometown of Little Roots. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leave to the water Pokemon. Our dreams, adventure, and friendships of weight. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Go see me in my Pokemon lab. Brianna, we're here, honey. It must be tiring right over that things is a moving truck. Well, this is literal town. How do you like it? This is our new home. That's quaint feel. But it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you got your own room, Brianna. Let's go inside. She Brianna, this is a nice snare, too. The movers do all the work of moving in us in and cleaning up after. It's so convenient. Brianna, your room is up Go check it out, dude. That bunch of new clocks and lots of movers. Look at this So. We've already played Ember down here. It's not exactly the team I wanted. I kind of want to play it again, but I don't want to, you know, do a repeat on the channel. Um, we're just going to set the clock to whatever. And, um, unlike Ember, there's some things that are different in Sapphire. Because, like, there's no right quasi and stuff like that. But then, how do you like your new room? Every Good evidence for the way. Blah, blah, blah. And, like, some of the gym puzzles are different, too. Like, um, the one in Moss Deep City. And, um, Meteor Falls. And that's, it has a different design to it, too. Oh, Brianna, quick, come quickly. Look, it's better for Jim. Maybe that will be on. We got you the support and from a friend of Better Bird Jim. Oh, it's over. I think that was on. We missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends is in town. Professor Birch is name. He is right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Go on the tall grass that size this road. Wild Pokemon will appear. It's not safe to go out there. You don't have any Pokemon skills. Oh, this tiny midget of a kid probably reaches up to my knee to tell me what to do. Yeah, but somebody the game was not listening. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Brian, our next door neighbor. You have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter's up there. How many times did you say our daughter? Our our daughter in that sense. Pokemon. Well, actually, they're actually she's actually already in here. You don't have to you know, try to steal a Pokeball. Oh, you're Brian. So you're moving today. My man, glad to meet you. I have been becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Brian, from my dad, Professor Birch. I'm gonna do it be nice, Brian, that we could be friends. This is silly, isn't it? I just met you, Brian. Hey, oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon, Brian. I'll catch you later. Ha, I get it. Now we can just sleep in her bed and she will not mind. So uncomfortable. My cord blocks. I can hear someone shouting down the road here. What should, I, what should I do? What should we do? Is there else got to go help? Help me! Hello, you over there? Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Which charger should we pick? Musket. 
I wonder what kind of nature it has. I'm going to go look at it now. Okay. Okay, serious nature. Oh, it does nothing. My brother had a Pokemon like this. Okay. At least it's not, it's not bad, but yeah. Okay. Whew! I, I was in the tall grass turning wild Pokemon when I was jumped. Save me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Brian. This is not a place to chat. So come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, Brian, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. The way you out early, you put it off with a plum. I guess you have the father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes. yes. Thanks for rescuing me. Like you had the Pokemon you used earlier. I will, in fact, name it. I give it an ambush. You have to wait if you want to see it. If you work at Pokemon and give me experience, I think it'll make a darn good train. My kid made it on Route 1 3. There we go. Where can we find May? Mother. Alright. So, in this route, you can find Wingles and Zigzagoons. Very annoying Pokemon. No ball on the counter, it's lucky me. Alright. Let's see, the Pokemon found a route 103 include. Oh yeah. Might get to level 6 and then let's lap. You would taste what being a trainer is like. Yeah, that's kind of the opposite of what's gonna happen. And now you will see the Pokemon's nickname Pastoria. Some of you might know why I gave it this nickname, some might not. In Sinnoh, Pastoria, or Sinnoh, my favorite region, thanks to Chicken Conroy, um, the, the, uh, the fourth gym leader, no, the fifth gym leader is in Pastoria, oh, for Platinum, and the fifth gym leader is, um, Crash Awake, who is in Pastoria City, and he changed the water type, so, because it's a water type, Pastoria is a good name for it. Come on, great, Brian. You're pretty good. I got red you. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but already likes you. Might be able to prevent any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, send to head back to the lab. Let's go home. Let's hurry home. Yeah, easy for you to say, sister. Alright, now we can finally go back to this crusty man. Hey, fatty. If he's a beast, you can start him in a Pokemon. The power of just staggering. Okay, fatty. Oh, hi, Brian. I heard that you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's well been doing my research for a long time. May has never seen extensive this with a trainer already. Here, Brian, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. You don't already have one? Every, every professor has a Pokedex. That's the only professor of that. Everyone else doesn't. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. Kid and May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon, goes to stay in the Pokedex. Why? May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, Brian, you got a Pokedex too? That's good, just like me. That's me for you too. Pokeballs. It's fun that you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want to pick Pokemon. If I can find any good Pokemon, I catch it with the Pokeballs. Oh, isn't that nice? And finally, can we get what I've been waiting for? Yes. Brian, Brian, did you introduce yourself to Professor Brusher? Why didn't the door for Pokemon? I got it from Professor Brusher. 
I first shot her, right? Look, get the good together, look, I'm here, honey. He's going out on an adventure, he's running, she's over, zip in your step. And now I got a peppy step. My okay, green shoes, great outdoors. Let me go on, super sonic racing. Old Dale Town. When I go over here, I'm gonna go buy some potions. In the Poke Marts. Oh, we're done with him. He has a zigzag game. Oh, I went back and I saw I won't battle this trainer yet. I might want to save him for when I catch a new Pokemon my team. So I got Scoot over here. Scoot, yes. The two orange berries. Isn't this nice? Now here we are in Pedal Brick City. I got this ended this episode. See you guys next time.